A Picture of God, Three in One, written by Joanne Markshausen, pictures by Ben Markshausen and Ed Kohler. Here is one apple. There is only one true God. The apple has three parts, the peel, the flesh, the core. The one true God has three persons, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. All three parts of the apple are apple. The peel is apple. It is not orange. It is not banana. The flesh is apple. It is not pear. It is not plum. The core is apple. It is not grapefruit. It is not watermelon. But these three peel, flesh, core are not three apples, but just one apple. All three persons of the one true God are God. God the Father is God. God the Son is God. God the Holy Spirit is God. But these three, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, are not three gods, but just one God. The three parts of the apple have different purposes. The peel protects. It keeps the apple healthy. The flesh of the apple is good to eat. Lots of good things to eat are made from the flesh of the apple. Apple pie, apple crisp, apple sauce, apple cider, apple dumplings, apple jelly, apple sauce cake, apple fritters. The core of the apple contains seeds from which apple trees grow. When just one apple seed is planted in the ground, the result is many, many, many apples. Like the apple, the three persons of the one true God have different purposes. God the Father protects us. He made us, you, me, all people, all things, even apples. He loves us and protects us, makes even bad things turn out for our good. He keeps things growing so we have food, cows, carrots, even apples. Sometimes we do things that God doesn't like. God said there must be a punishment for these things. That would make us very sad for a very long, long time. But God loves us so much, he sent God the Son to take our punishment for us. His name is Jesus. He was a real man. He suffered it hurt a lot. He died. Jesus was buried as an apple seed is buried in the ground. But he was really God. And as an apple seed sprouts from the ground and makes new apples possible, Jesus rose from the dead. And the result is beautiful, wonderful, happy new lives for us.
But before we can have this beautiful, wonderful happiness, there is something else must, we must have. Faith in Jesus. When you plant an apple seed in the ground, you believe an apple tree will grow from it. That's faith in the apple seed. When you believe Jesus died for you and lives again to give you a beautiful, wonderful, happy new life, that's faith in Jesus. Our hearts are like a piece of ground. The ground cannot plant itself with an apple seed. Someone must put the seed into the ground. We cannot put faith into our own hearts. God, the Holy Spirit, makes us believe in Jesus. He puts faith into our hearts and keeps it alive and growing as long as we want him to. When an apple seed is planted in the ground, the rain feeds it and it begins to grow. When the Holy Spirit puts faith into our heart, he feeds it with God's word and faith begins to grow. When the apple tree is grown up strong and healthy, it bears fruit. Do you know what kind of fruit? Can you take a guess? It bears apples. When faith is grown up strong and healthy, it bears fruit too. Fruit like joy, self-control, kindness, humility, love, patience, goodness, peace, and faithfulness. When you pick an apple from a tree, you know it is an apple. Mostly because it looks like an apple. It has an apple peel, its flesh is apple, if you plant a seed from its core, an apple tree will grow. Although it has three parts, you know you do not have three apples, just one apple. If you have faith in the true God, then you believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. There are three persons, but there is only one true God. The end. I hope you enjoyed A Picture of God 3-in-1 by Joanne Markshausen.